Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. All right, uh, we're going to do a good beer review tonight of a brewery that we know um, just a little bit about, but um, it's also a brewery, brewery we have not reviewed a lot of beer from. Um, it's the um, High Wire Brewing Company out of Asheville, North Carolina. This is called their uh, Mosaic Hopped IPA. Um, if you watch my other, any of my other beer reviews, I really love IPAs. I'm picky about them. I think IPAs are what's really caused the craft beer explosion. Um, however, I also think a lot of the breweries are drawing at straws in 2017 to try to se separate themselves from other breweries. However, breweries that come out of Asheville, North Carolina, typically, uh, they know what they're doing in terms of trying to separate themselves from not only other breweries within that one city, but within the East Coast. Um, again, Mosaic Hops, one of my favorites. I think they, they um, have a good aroma. They typically have extremely good uh, characteristics on the palate. Um, this particular one is 6.7% ABVs. Um, IBUs are 56. So that is perfectly in line with what a Mosaic hop, Hopped IPA should be. Um, it says it's a balance of Western North Carolina IPA with bright citrus and tropical fruit aromas. Expect a big grapefruit tangerine and a subtle melon flavor from the, I love this, from the chorus of mosaic and centennial hops to balance out the malt in, in this dank and drinkable ale. So I, I love that description. It's short, it's to the point, but yet it gives you some tangible palate type um, associations with what you're about to have. I mean, grapefruit, tangerine, melon, probably like kind of a, like a cantaloupe, you know, um, uh, honeydew type sweetness. Um, by the way, I do absolutely love the, the cap. I know you can't see it because of the, the lighting, but it's basically a guy walking across the high wire. Um, this beer, um, excuse me, this brewery, again, is, I, I don't have a lot, of, I live on the East Coast. They're, I haven't had a ton of exposure to them, but their distribution has definitely um, increased a lot in uh, 2017. So again, I know the lighting's not great. It's kind of a kind of an orangish with a little bit of a lemon lemon, excuse me, yellow tint to it. It's kind of cloudy. Um, there's not much head on it. Um, it actually has some pretty good lacing on the glass, 6.7 percent. But again, some of these beers can do that. Um, but definitely what I would consider a cloudy IPA. There's not a lot of stuff floating around, all that residual stuff, the floaties as I call it, which is great. So that's the way it should be. Okay, aroma is not at all what I anticipated. Um, it's pretty malty. It reminds me a little bit of almost like a nut brown. It's got kind of a nuttiness to it. Um, pretty sure this is fairly fresh. I usually get, um, let's see if I can find a date on here, and I can't not. Um, it's not at all what I expected. Um, I don't consider this to be very uh, citrusy at all. Maybe a little bit of orange, which is what they're calling the tangerine. You can definitely smell the, a little bit of mosaic hops, a little bit, but not much at all. Um, honestly, the aroma is pretty boring. Um, let's get in the glass here, guys. Cheers. Wow. Um, that is not what I would call a mosaic forward IPA. Wow. Um, okay. So this one to me, uh, tastes more like a pale ale than an IPA. It tastes definitely uh, forward of almost like a of a nuttiness to it. It's almost like a almost like a pecan that I'm tasting. I don't taste melon. I don't taste tangerine. I do taste some hops other than mosaic. I don't really taste the mosaic hops. Um, this should be fairly fresh. Again, they're they're saying that we're supposed to be looking for a grapefruit. I don't taste grapefruit. Um, it does have a little bit of dankness to it, which they talked about. It's got a little bit of, it's kind of sticky. Um, not boozy at all though. Um, it is very drinkable. It's easy to drink. 
um, it doesn't present to me at all what it presents on the, the label and the description. It's not a bad beer, but after reading the description and trying it, it's, it's really two totally different things. I mean, it's okay. Um, I, I mean, I don't dislike it. I'd probably give this about a two and a half or a three. On my rating scale, a three means I'd buy it again. Um, I think price point was like 12 or $13 for the six pack. It's just not, it's not, in my opinion, it's not a mosaic forward, fruity, tangerine, uh, melon IPA. That's just not what I'm getting. So maybe I got a bad batch. Don't have a lot of experience with this brewery. I will say, and just because this is why I do these beer reviews, um, I started doing this so that if you're considering buying this in a store and it's next to something at the same price point, I would choose something else um, at the same price point that's an IPA that's florally. Um, that's why I did these. I wouldn't purchase this again. Again, occasionally we get bad batches. Most of the beers we get are, pr are fairly fresh on the East Coast, though. So, um, sorry, didn't particularly like this one. But again, this is why I do it. So, I probably would not buy this again. However, uh, this is also something where I think with the IPA market, it's so difficult to compete that a lot of times they just don't hit the mark. So, if you've tried it, let us know. Leave comments on our YouTube channel or website. We upload all the time. We would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we will see you again.